Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Uh, oh, yeah, my pleasure. We're really excited to see that you're going to be on this Hawaiian Man. Uh, moving on, Me too. Yeah. This Hawaiian Man, David Marquez is an amazing artist, so that good book's going to be amazing. Um, can you give us a little information on what will happen to Miles' supporting characters, such as Genki, Miles' father, and Ultimate Kate Bishop during and after Secret Wars? Uh, you will find out in Ultimate End number five. Ultimate End number five yes. is going to answer all of our questions yes. for that. Yes. Um, what inspired you to bring about the changes to the but Flash? I'm not going to spoil the story. You just flat out asked for a spoiler. Fair enough. Flat out. Fair enough. Tell me what's going to happen to them. Well, we're just curious. We want to make sure that they're going to be okay. Well. Okay. Um, can you add, can you give us any insight onto what inspired you to bring about the changes to the Flash on some Venom character? Um. A, a few things. Number one, the, the way he was being written, and, and like there was an arc of a heroic arc being done, which I which I quite liked. And you know, doing all the research, it, there, there's always like this, um, uh, like 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 I, I said, hey, what what is the you know? Because think of putting the hot in the guard as a galaxy, right? And like, oh, we're going to be in a galactic story. So like, um, what is what is the, the, the symbiote planet look like? And they're like, oh, we've never been there. Like, never been there? There was the 90s. No, but that was, uh, that was, that was a, planet, uh, a planet that symbiotes had taken over. That was not the whole planet. Fair enough. All right. So, um, but and so I, I did my all my research and then I, I said to Tom, who knows, Freebird, who knows everything. I go, we've never been there? He goes, yeah, yeah we've we never been there. You think, if during, if particularly in like the 90s craze of Venom mania, that, yes. we would, uh, that door would open, but it never did. And I'm like, it's gotta happen. We're, we're, the, we're in a spaceship, there you flying go. to planets, we gotta, we gotta go to the planet, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, because we mainly work through Tumblr, and you kind of... And, and there's one other thing. I just went so to turn around. Okay. And the other thing that happened was, that fraction sun, Henry Leo was at my house, and you saw I had like the, the first version of the um, Marvel Infinity figures, the the, the, the game. The, oh, the original Infinity. Infinity, Infinity. And I had the, the Venom they, before they were out. I had them out, and he loved it, right? And he loved it. And it's like cool, slick looking. Yeah, Venom, he's got you know? a very nice... and and uh, like an animated looking Venom. Mm -hmm. And then when he heard that he might have been a bad guy at one point or an anti-hero, he was really upset. Like, it was really bothering to him, and I thought about that. So I thought about, like, what's the pure version? You know what I mean? Not, not to take away the, the edge of the character, but, like, what 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 is the version that Henry saw in his head? Like, what was that that was so exciting to him? Henry you know? is younger, correct? Yes. Okay, so he's been around... No, he's 48 years old. Okay. He's a, he's a, no, he's, a, he's like uh, seven years old. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Venom has been a hero for quite a while. Yeah, so to him, when he heard that there was a chance that he might not have been a hero, that was, he was horrified. Yeah. Okay, since we mostly work through Tumblr, and you communicate a lot through Twitter and Tumblr to your fans... Love Tumblr. How, how do you feel it's affected one. the comic book community as a whole? Uh, it's, um, Tumblr is amazing for breaking in. I, I tell everyone, it's like, how do I break in? I go, get your shit on Tumblr. Because they're looking. They're looking, and that's a good way to do it. It's a good way to present yourself. I think that the, um, I use mine as, like, just as a, like a museum of inspiration. Just I post, like, stuff that just inspires me a great deal. And I also promote stuff. But, um, like, my ongoing Tumblr is just stuff that, I just love dearly, and it makes me want to work better, you know. So there's that, um, and I just love the interaction. I love the you ask a question, answer a question. You know what I mean? To have fun with it, give yourself silly, you know, all, all that stuff. Um, the downside is the rea reactionary, um, like. That leads me to my next question. Since yeah. you just mentioned reactions, yeah. how do you feel the overall reaction of the change that you made to the ice cream chip has been? We well, enjoy it, but I know that not. No, it was it. controversial. Listen, yes, I, I worked when uh, during my my leader years. I worked at a newspaper in Cleveland. I worked at the Cleveland Plain Dealer, and I did a, a a cartoon there that took up a whole page of the paper. And I, my editor said these words to me. She was completely right. She goes, "No matter what you write about sex." religion or politics, half the people reading it, by definition, will be offended. No matter what you say, half the people go, I'm outraged, you know? And um, it was funny because a couple years later, um, 
Bill Jemis, who's running Marvel, he said if Marvel announced cream milk and cookies, the first post underneath the announcement would be, I'm lactose intolerant, motherfucker. And, uh, and, and, and I think about those things. Now, so when, I, when we were going down this road, yes, I knew there would be people that would be upset or have different opinions about it, and I'm okay with that. What bothered me about what some of it on top of it, now some people think that I'm wrong about this, but I really am not, I promise you. Is I, the, the issue leaked ahead of time. And then some people on Tumblr posted one page, skipped six pages, and then posted another page, which highly changes the temperament the of the context. story and the context of the story. People read the book, and they have whatever issue they have to read. I completely, and I will take that all with me, right? But when people read two pages out of 20, and they're out of order, and then start yelling at me, I'm bummed out because that's not how it was intended. Uh, you're you're bummed out. You're right to be bummed out, but that's not nothing like that. Like I didn't do that, you know. So so that stuff is is a bummer, and particularly when I went out of my way behind the scenes to not make it a sensational storyline. Like if you look on the cover of that issue, there's no Iceman or who are the it's Utopian. Which it's Utopian. X-Men is gay? Like none of those things that in the you know in the old days, which Avenger will die? Like a story like that. Like I, I specifically. You know, a lot was talked about behind the scenes by doing this with the character. A lot, you know, it was vetted through people. And then I even, he even said, I do not. I want, I want part of this is to normalize that if this was a heterosexual character, this would not be on the cover. So I, this should not be on the cover. Like, you know, like, it should not, nothing about this is being sold, you know? And then it got out of our hands. And then the, then the conversation changes. Like, well, we're doing things to shock you. And I'm like, I really wasn't. There was no mention in the solicitation. It's not on the cover. I really wasn't, right? But then it was out of my hands. So those elements of it uh, were a bummer. Now, there's some people that saw um, by erasure or uh, by phobia in it because it was about uh, Bobby being gay. Uh, that was upsetting to me because I have none in my heart. I was not... In it. Uh, and other bisexual people didn't see it. Right? And, and so when someone says you really hurt my feelings by having this body erasure, and I'm like, I don't, I like, I, 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 but I don't have any. And then someone else goes, I'm, I'm, I'm bisexual, I don't know what you're talking about, like, I don't know what that person's talking about. So I try to, I, I, wa I wonder if the next step for us is people being able to step outside their own personal journey and seeing that other people have different ones. Yeah. Like from my perspective, I met like hundreds of people online on Tumblr, all who had a different journey, right? And and or at different places on the sexual spectrum. And people only wanted to see Iceman be on that. And I'm like, I, 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 no story is that. There's no story that's everything to everybody. It doesn't exist. So there's no uh, vanilla flavored story. No, there's no, this, this is everything to all people. It's a very specific story. And on top of that, it's got time travel, psychic powers, and ice powers, and all. This is nobody but their story, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so it was interesting. And, 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 the, and the part, um, people, well, there was a lot of controversy about Gene reading his mind, or outing him, or pulling him out of the closet, or something. And uh, there was one person that wrote me that said, uh, it's very wrong of me to write that. Uh, that that's not, it was not right for her to do. And that when I was in high school, a friend of mine came up to me and said, are you gay? And it really was upsetting. And I'm like, yeah, but you're not convincing me I shouldn't write a story like that if it happened to you. You're telling me this happened to you. So it, don't, it can happen. It can, it can happen. It doesn't happen to everybody. And no, it's not going to You know what? She's 15 years old. or 16. She's not... You know, inversed in every single issue of the of the community. You know, and she just talked to her friend, who's and she's confused by, you know, the thought she's picking up and trying to talk. You know, so it's it meant a lot to me the storyline, and then and then and then just yesterday, two people came up to me with stories how their lives have been altered in a positive way because of it. Which is what I hope you intend to get out of what I think you intend to get out. When I was thinking again, I was, was normalizing the issue. 
And, and I think that the best thing that I, you don't want to preach, you don't want to, you know, because you basically preaching to, to the converted, like, you know, and, uh, you know, people should have rights and cancer is bad. And you're like, well, of course, of course you know, it's, 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 um, but what you want to do is present the stories in a way that makes any stigma or any phobia just, it just be put away, it just goes away, you know, and all you can do that is by just telling the stories is honestly and true. So that's what I was trying to do. But then, then when someone comes up to you and says, um, this person came out to me because they read the story, or I came out to someone because I read the story. Well, that's more than, yeah, that's way more than you can ever hope for. So, for the people who are upset about it, I hope that hearing that something good came out of it, uh, changes their minds on or, or Or settles them a little bit, knowing that I, I was coming from the best place possible. Whether you believe it or not, I can just, all I can do is be my you know what I mean? And, that, and and so so yeah, so I know this is a long answer, but it's a complicated um, it's a very complicated question, complicated question that I've, I've, that a lot's been going on with with it, but uh, it's very, very interesting to me. It's very, very interesting and I, and I, and I think that the one downside of Tumblr is people not being able to see outside of their own perspective to other perspectives. Which is weird to me because Tumblr is such a big community it and is. it's so inviting. But it appears over our time. So thank oh, you oh, so much. Are we? Oh, yeah, well, I want to say one other thing. Okay. But he, uh, the, the one thing that it was uh, is that people reaction to other people's reactions. Yeah. That would be someone, someone saying, oh, this is bi biphobic. And then someone goes, that's outrageous. I'm like, well, why don't you look at it first before you like that, 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 that part was always here. Thank you so much. Do you, have, do you have one more that we can end um, on the high note? Or? Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Do you see yourself uh, in Napping. Napping? Napping and, and lobby. Um, uh, Hopefully, very healthy as they, they will have cured all disease and um, floating on my hoverboard to uh, watch my kids graduate in high school. We see you as an extended. So I don't know if you see yourself as that, I but do that's not see you as an I No, I, 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 um, I've had a very nice weekend. I don't get out much because I'm home with the kids and working on the stuff. So this has been a very special thing to meet everybody. It's been very emotional because the Iceman stuff, because the vials. You know, I, I don't get I hear it online, but to see someone's face when they say it is uh, it's a beautiful thing. So I appreciate you giving me the time to talk about this a little bit. Thank you so much, seriously. All right. All right.